911 dispatch, how may I direct your call? And what to their wondering eyes would appear but a slimy little bugger spreading mayhem and fear. What the? You are fixing to die, mother Oh, you dead, sucker! Don't make me do this! Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's a horror movie review time. We're taking a look at Mind Leech, a low budget and a barely hour long movie written and starring and co-directed by Chris Cheeseman and Paul Krasinski. Now one glance at Mind Leech and you might think you're in for a rough ride. So it is a really pleasant surprise to find that it is a delightful and fun horror movie that showcases passion and drive. One with some laughs, some nice gooey gore, impressive practical effects, and good acting. Starring Ryan Brown and Steph Ivory Conover, Mine Leech is set in 1998 within a small snowy town. It begins in charmingly classic monster horror style as we see two men disposing of some unknown chemical tank in a river. When it doesn't sink, they get the bright idea of shooting it, which sees the gas inside leak out and into the water. If you are a fan of 80s and earlier horror movie, monster movies, this feels very, very familiar. And the characters in particular are quite funny. As one of them smartly says, we probably shouldn't breathe that in. We then cut to some time later, and two other men are ice fishing. The water has this unnatural and unhealthy looking hue, but they're confident they'll finally catch something, which they bloody do. A huge leech that latches onto the temple of its victims and can control them, I'll bet with hilariously poor coordination. I feel like there was some inspiration for some of the movements here from Men in Black, you know, the alien monster in that, uh, the one that takes on the skin of the dude, I can't remember the actor, the one from Full Metal Jacket, the way he moves. As it jumps from victim to victim and causes chaos in a small town, a couple of local police officers are now on the hunt. The short runtime actually ends up being to Mind Leech's benefit, as the pace is kept snappy and energetic. It doesn't take long for the mind controlling Leech to enter the story and for the townspeople to come under its spell. The low budget does mean we don't get a cacophony of chaos, but it does enough damage to keep things very entertaining. What Mind Leech does particularly well is give us a cast of characters that are likeable and amusing to watch. In particular, the pairing of the cops, played by Ryan Brown and Steph Ivory Conover. The latter is a delight throughout. It's nice to see everyone giving it all and clearly treating the project with respect. Mind Leech also gives us a monster that is both deadly and believable. Something innocent turned into something terrifying by human hands. The leech is a practical effect and it looks awesome, which is no surprise considering both directors have done special effects for big name films. Go check out their credits on IMDb, you'll be quite surprised. Mind Leech overall gives us a throwback tongue in cheek story, good characters that are well acted and a peppy run time, making a fun horror movie well worth checking out. I really do think you should give this one a go. It's a lot of fun and it's not too long. So even if you're not having as much fun as I did, you're not loving it as much as I did, it'll be over before you even know it and then you can frame your whole picture around that. But I do think most people, particularly fans of old school monster movies and you know the whole transformation sort of idea of something innocent into something. But you know, one of, one of my favorite uh, trashy movies is Ticks. Have you ever seen that 90, 90s movie starring like um, uh, the guy from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air who played Carlton, can't remember his name. Um, but yeah, people like that, that's the sort of movies I often really, really enjoy but they don't make great modern ones of those anymore. In fact, they're rare as hell in modern times. So to get something like this, which is a throwback, but also knows what its limitations are, it makes it well worth seeing. It's my leech. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. Games, horror, and heavy metal. What else is life for?